What were your thoughts on how things went tonight? Um, you know, pretty good, pretty good performance from us in the first half. I thought Indy kind of worked their way into the game later in the half. And mm -hmm. Thought we started the second half well, and said we probably need a second goal. Uh, don't know if we were ambitious enough. You know, I mean, we had a few counters, but I think we could have been a little bit, a little bit more proactive trying to get that second goal. And, mm -hmm. Thought we defended well on the night, limited their clear looks. Um, but they, they, they'll put dangerous balls in the box and they have quality players that eventually, you know, if they pounce on one of them, it's, it's liable to end up. And, you know, they found that goal, which disappointing that late to, to, to not get out of here with the three points. But, mm -hmm. you know, on the night in the you know, I think probably deserve something. They, they kept pushing. And, um, as I said, put a number of dangerous balls in the box. So yeah. We just have to do better and, you know, try and find a way to get our, get our, get that second goal. Yeah. It could have been a better night for us. Yeah. And it seemed a little bit um, unlucky on their goal um, from your perspective as, as far as um, you guys get the um, cross stopped and it bounces right to their player. But as you said, um, they put a lot of dangerous balls in. Yeah. So, um, what's what is the um, overall feeling? Does it feel like you guys kind of left something on the table, only taking one point instead of three tonight? Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're you know if you're if you're up any game, you're gonna feel that way. You know, it's not like it's not like we were you know they were getting breakaways or ripping balls off the, the woodwork. I mean, you know, we, were, we generally are gonna defend crosses pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, clean most of that stuff up. Um, you know, Jamali, if he punches it anywhere else, like kind of the cross was blocked and it deflected. Jamali actually made a good play to, yeah. to punch it, but it just went right to Blake, right? Exactly. And technically, he didn't take a big swing at it. He just is a quality player that knew, as long as I steered this on frame. Yeah. And it was a good finish. If he had to trap it, maybe we get out and block it. But I mean, it was a good goal from from from, from their standpoint. But yeah, I think you get that deep. I mean, if it's an earlier goal in the half, but you get into that last ten minutes, I don't know mm -hmm. what minute was it scored. 81. Uh, 81. 81. So you get down to that last fifteen, you're, you're you know you want to make that stand up. Sure. Sure. Um. The, um, your goal um, really looked like a nice bit of communication there between Luke and Albert. Yeah, I, I saw the end of it when Albert got in um, and his finish. Uh, I was talking to someone on the bench, a player, and, and gotcha. so I didn't see the initial uh, action that, that, that got Fair enough. Dequa into the clear. Fair enough. Um, but, uh, you know, I, and I saw Odo went down, so I don't know. Did he, did he guess? Um, what, just, was your, what was your, because I, I don't know. It just looked like he fell or something. Um, just just looked like um, Luke um, saw um, Dequa making a nice run and hit him with a pretty good pass. Right. But I was asking about the goalkeeper. Oh, the like goalkeeper. I, I didn't. I didn't um, get a get a um, great look at um, the yeah, goalkeeper's decision so, making. Um, Luke's done well. I mean, he's he's uh, he's been giving us some some good moments when he's gone forward. So um, it's nice to be up 1-0. Hopefully, uh, next time we're in this position, we can we can secure all three points. Yeah, and on the plus side, you guys do do um finally take a um go home with you after after on um, the past couple games on the road had been yeah. um scoreless what needs to happen to turn um more of these attacks into goals away from home well guys have to go run behind i mean we had balls in in, in, in higher areas and had some possession but at midfield or when we get in their half we stay behind equal and keys and watch we need midfielders running we need backs we need more risk taking to get higher up the pitch and sure. make there and make the other team have to to defend. Sure. And I think their forwards and midfielders didn't have to run into their half very often. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they defended just with their center backs all their other players.
but we're going forward. So I think you gotta punish teams when that happens. And the only way you're gonna punish them is not just, you know, waiting every game for Deke to free himself. You need to get guys running into, into all that space. Sure. All right.